Well, I just did a really stupid thing. I actually went to pick a passenger up and I had a little bit of an issue getting her into my car and in the midst of me being flustered, I forgot to say, I forgot to tap that I had arrived or that I had picked her up. And I went into the app, she said that her friend had gotten the ride for her. And I noticed that there wasn't a destination on it. Well, that would have been because I never uh, said that she got in my car. So I played with the app for a while trying to figure out how I could manually input her address. And then um, I ended up putting her address into Google Maps separate from the Lyft app and just decided that I would probably get paid for driving through Lyft if I just kept it on in the background. And about 10 minutes into this 20 minute ride, I realized what I had done and uh, the address was in there the whole time. So that kind of sucked. I will say that it was a really neat passenger to have. So her name is Stephanie. Uh, my name is also Stephanie. And she started to tell me about this children's book that she's writing and illustrating. And she started talking about how some dreams take longer than than others to achieve and you just have to keep going and and uh, never stop trying. She said she was 46. She's been working on this children's book for eight years. And it was just really interesting to me because I feel like that's very much so the season of life that I'm in right now. And I hadn't talked about myself at all, so that, that wasn't prompted, but it was almost like, I don't know, like I was talking to my future self or something, which I really hope that I can make, uh, you know, my dreams come true before I turn 46. I'm 32 now, so I have a little bit of a time to, um, to work on that. While I'm on that subject, that's how I, how I view driving. I think that this, this is nobody's dream. No one wants to drive for Uber or Lyft and spend a bunch of time in the car and really not make that great of money. Like this should be your stepping stone to get to where you want to be. And with something like this, it allows you the flexibility to you know, work on your own thing or try really hard to find a better job. Like, I personally don't think that this should be your future. Like, this is, this is not really a future. This is just somewhere in the middle, somewhere to get me from point A to point B. And, you know, for me in particular, I can do this and I'm feeling a little bit financially uncomfortable but I have the freedom to work on my photography business when I want. I have the flexibility and schedule and, you know, not working at a bar anymore where I was feeling complacent. Like I need to work hard to make something happen for myself. I can't just wish that it's going to happen and not actually try to do it. I think when you're in a position where you're not 100% comfortable, you're going to try harder or you're going to fall harder.